all right so welcome or welcome back to my channel i've been asked many times in the past like bro do you think it's worth it to restore shoes and do i think it's money in it and i'm gonna be very clear about my answer yes you can make great money restoring sneakers now i tell a lot of people most of the time that hey it's time consuming so you have to have the time however the reason the reason why restoring sneakers is so sweet and so profitable is because you buying beat up sneakers right and you're usually getting them at a really low price then you're putting the work in bringing them back to life and and that alone actually yields more profit per shoe than just the day-to-day -day typical brand new dead stock reseller now check this out one of the good fellas in my discord and hey there's a link in the description if you want to be in my discord but he brought a really good hustle to my attention i'm of course fulfilling that request and then i'm bringing it to y'all in a video form all right so here's the deal on most sneakers and honestly the best kinds of sneakers when they get old they develop like this yellowing and it's usually on the soles on like if you're familiar with the jordan 11s the icy soles on those always get yellow i can even think of even the netting on the cement fours like that yellowing happens from a combination of age and dirt and the sad part is is that most people at that point let them go because that yellowing doesn't come off you can't just really wash it off most of the time it's ingrained in there and so for those who ain't hip there's actually a process called icing soles and it's basically where you take the soles you apply a chemical to it expose them to the sun or light that's supposed to remove the yellowing and effectively bringing that shoe back to life now here's the problem a lot of the times removing that yellowing takes a bunch of sessions a bunch of hours and honestly leaving leaving shoes in the sun for hours could cause separation so the next best thing is an ice box and i know you might be asking like bro what's an ice box it's basically a box made for ice and soles and today i'm gonna show you exactly how you can build one out of household items and some more little tiny things that you're gonna need to go out and buy but more importantly by the end of this video you will know how to make one and how to use it to literally just make you profit on pairs you could even ice soles as a service by itself people will pay you to ice their soles so let's jump right into it all right so I think for this whole entire setup, this was five bucks. This was five bucks, maybe three bucks, three bucks. This, this, which is your UV grow light. This is definitely gonna cost you anywhere around. I caught it, I think for like 45 bucks. It don't say it on here, but it's, it's supposed to be a, a thousand watts. So. From what I understand, 600 watts or above is what you wanna use. But anyway, this is all you need, man. Some tape, some foil, a, oh, a box from, I got this from Home Depot for maybe another four or five bucks or whatever. This is just the stuff that came with the grow light. But first, once again, this setup is gonna be really dope. And I'm about to show y'all exactly how I'm gonna do it. All right, so now, boom, we're gonna flip the box this way. All right, so now once you assemble the box, what, I, what we're gonna do is cut off these long flaps right here on the side, right? So you're gonna need, so you're gonna need like some scissors or something sharp, but keep the short flaps, cut off the long side ones. So now let's line. We're gonna start on this side wall. Okay, and I'm just really just making tape sort of little, you know what I'm saying? And I really could spread this out. But the goal is for every inch of this inside to be covered with foil. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I got the first wall foiled down, so we about to do all the other ones. All right, so here's a step that you don't have to, but I like to do, and that's make a door sort of on the side, you know what I'm saying? 
So right here, I'm gonna cut a little hole. I'm gonna cut in like a little door, but I'm still gonna go ahead and put foil on it. All right, so here's like the little door I've created for myself. I need to sort of tape it back up right here. I tore it down a little too far, but that's a little door I like to make for myself. It'll close, it'll stay closed. But yeah, let me remake that repair and, and then finish spoiling these sides. All right, so now we just need to wrap this last little door in foil and then cover all the spots that you see that are empty. And then we'll be a step closer. All right, so now we have the entire inside of the box foiled up. So now we about to just go ahead and tape these back down. All right, so now we got these tabs flapped up. Now. Let's put in the light. All right, so I went ahead and got the light put on there, but we basically about to show y'all what it looks like with the light. And yeah, no, nah, this is coming along good. All right, so with the light on top of it, here it is. Okay, I'm gonna open the little door we made. Oh, that's bright. You see that? You see that? You see that those UV rays bouncing off of that? The UV rays, the foil just amplifies it and it's just, they just bouncing off like crazy right now. So um, yeah, we're gonna get get a pair of shoes in there and see how it works. But yeah, no, nah, this definitely is dope. Now, one change that I'm about to make, I don't like a lot of light escaping out. I don't like a lot of light escaping out. So I'm about to take these other cardboard pieces and kind of cover these sides up. All right, so now we got those sides covered. There isn't a lot of light escaping out of there now. So now, honestly, they ready for a pair of shoes to go inside of them. So I think I got two that I'm gonna put in there. All right, so I'm gonna actually give you all a quick rundown on how I ice soles, right? So this is the product I use. I also have Soul Bright by Angelus. I just have found that Salon Care 40 works better for me. Uh, they're literally the exact same thing, the exact same chemical though. Um, as you see, I, with a brush here, applied some to the bottom of these. And so now we're gonna wrap them in foil and put them in the ice box and let them go. All right, so now that we got it wrapped up in foil, I moved my ice box out here because I'm gonna go ahead and turn off all the lights. I just want maximum, you know, maximum light rays, but we basically gonna insert it into the light box and then let it go. So basically, all right, so we're gonna sit this in here and we're gonna let it run and see what happens to it. All right. So I just pulled it out. All right, so I just pulled this shoe out from my ice box. And as you can see, a lot of that yellowing is already starting to leave. Now, once again, it's still there because a the shoe that was dirty like this is definitely, definitely gonna take a couple sessions. But, but just to give y'all something to compare it to, this is the one that I still haven't touched and done anything to. So you can see a big difference after just one session, honestly. So. What I'm gonna do is just, you know what, do that same process, put some more Salon Care 40, throw it back in the ice box and let it run all day. Let's get it.